We're back here on Open. AIM High Empowerment Institute is introducing their annual Male Empowerment Symposium and College Fair. The event will give teenage boys the opportunity to learn, grow, and network so they can become successful individuals. Here now to talk more about the event, we welcome now the co-founder of the AIM High Institute, Dr. Cecil Wright, and the Chief Empowerment Officer, Sherman Brown. And uh, gentlemen, good to have you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, good to be here. here. This is pretty uh, interesting here because as you talk about this male summit, you're looking forward to about 500, well actually 750 you have, confirmed to be registered and attending. And your, your, your goal, your mission is reducing the school to prison pipeline? Absolutely. I mean, we're totally fired up. You know, obviously for years there has been a negative stereotype about black males and men, young men of color. And we find out these men are not broken. These are good young men who just want to hear, just want to have the right person in the room to tell them about that they can be successful. So our job you know, on April 6th is to continue to, um, to exemplify that. And we have you know, 750 young men registered, but more importantly, there's over 100 mentors registered for this event, doctors, lawyers who grew up in the Bronx. And, and, and they're coming that day to just help us to empower these young men. And so when we talk about these young men coming, you got 750 of them. How would you put your hands on them and what would you do? Well, we, um, for the last couple months, have been doing what we call the Epic Impact Tour, where we go from school to school and we do these school assemblies with these students. And it's sort of just uh, sort of the, the, the pre-show before the main show. And when we go there, we're talking with these students, talking to them about taking their lives to the next level. And, um, you know, as Dr. Wright mentioned, right, if we're going to break the school to prison pipeline, we have to build a new model. And what we call it is the school to prominence model. So when we're going there, we're talking with these individuals um, and every school we go to it's constantly happening where tons of young men are saying look I want to be a part of something I want to do something more and we tell them well look we have an event for you um, and this is just the spark that's going to ignite the fire for what we're about to do with them. So when people take part in this male empowerment seminar and, they, and you go around empowering young men what specifically are you getting into what are you dealing with them about? Well th th there's, there's, there's two things one um, we, we, we use what's called an anti-deficit approach. Mm -hmm. You know, for years, these young men have always been looked upon as, as young men who, is, who can't do anything, can't go anywhere, right? Our approach is to restore to the, these young men the fact that they can be the best of themselves, right? And a lot of times when we talk to these young men is that they've never heard a story. Uh, they don't know that one of the greatest scientists grew up on the Grand Concourse, right? You know, they, they don't know that the gentlemen um, from Inuwal products end up being doctors and lawyers. So our job is to make sure that we can tell them that even though you know we're you know we're doing what we're doing is that you can be better than us right so the idea for us is that every single time we meet these young men is to tell them our story and you know this is not new for us we've been doing this now for over eight years together and uh, we've always had these events and the location has just changed and now we're expanding what we do the, the other point that, that brown pointed out earlier on is that there is a conscious effort for people to steer these young men to what we call a prison pipeline. Our job is to dismantle that pipeline. And mm -hmm. the way we can do that is get people, men like us in the community, to go and tell their story that there, there is success on the other side. There is a way you can be, become successful. And that's what we intend to do on April 6th. You know, so it's in the Bronx, it's going to be a Drazza Loop. Um, you know, we have over 22 different schools coming from all across the bar of the Bronx and one or two schools from Manhattan. And we have, you know, 750 young men who is eager to hear mentors like you, mm -hmm. right, um, tell their story. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're looking forward how, to how, how you arrived to where you are today, I tell you. Um, when you look at this conference, obviously the young people have an opportunity to take part, get some opportunity to, to meet some real great people. After that, then what? Yeah, so here's the thing. We didn't want it to just be a one-time event, right? right. Because, um, you know, as, as individuals who've gone and spoken at plenty of schools, what we recognize is that you can do the one time, but guess what? They go back to their neighborhoods. Mm, so absolutely. we created the AIM High Empowerment Institute as a formal program to give them the opportunity to get more, where they get specific training and development that we work within the schools to, to bring um, and help them to develop what we call the three C's, competence, confidence, and character. So through this one-year program, after the event, schools that decide to take part in this program give us the opportunity to come there and run what we call our epic impact curriculum that's working on um, with these young men so we have uh, what we call our epic impact model um, FEMC squared so there's family engagement where we get families involved and we also have this brotherhood bonding happening amongst the young men there's mentorship on on three different levels you get a virtual mentor an intimate mentor who's on your campus as well as a peer-to-peer -peer mentor and then we have all college and career prep and so if people want to take part in this what do they do well, if they want, they can go to, um, to the AIM High website. We, we do have an AIM High, um, AIM High Eventbrite at 
mhi.org website mm -hmm. and they can go on and register. And for mentors, it's free registration. And you know, we'll provide you some more um, direct information on that. But you know, there's still room for more mentors to, to participate. Yeah, so we're actually to capacity when it comes to the students um, mm -hmm. because of fire regulations. Um, but when it comes to mentors, we still have room uh, for, for more of them. So again, aimhighei.eventbrite.com or they could go to aimhighei.org and they could get more. So we talk about mentors, which is obviously something that you can always use more of. I see you said 750 kids coming Absolutely. Out, you know. So what is required of a mentor? Somebody's watching right now saying, listen, I want to be a mentor. What do I do? You know, for us, you know, we want to make sure our mentors are gainfully employed, right? right? Because we want to make sure you put someone in front of the young men so they can see that this person has make a difference in their own life. Um, there's no cause requirements because lots of folks believe that, you know, um, college not only we can become successful. You know, there's mm -hmm. lots of folks who have never been to college, but they own their own business. They're entrepreneurs and they're doing well. So one or, ex one or young men to be exposed to those kind of mentors. Um, if you're a mentor, if you're home, if you believe you, you can be a positive influence, if you have a story to tell, if you can tell a young man that there is hope, it doesn't matter what your skin color look like, you can still achieve the best that you set out to be, you can be a mentor that day. Just go on, you know, on the website, you register, we, we, we have space for you. So make sure you come on out and be a part of this. The April 6th, Dr. Wright and uh, Sherman Brown will be here, the Chief Empowerment Speaker for this AIM High Institute and the AIM High Empowerment Summit calling all men to a higher level. Absolutely. And, uh, and so we want to make sure that our young men do that. What's been the response of uh, you know the school system as you're engaging in them and trying to get them get these young kids connected? Well, I mean, the, the schools are very responsive. And, and to be honest with you, you know, we spoke about this morning, is that there, th there is a little bit of a hint, though, could bring us another time, is that we have more responses from schools, honestly, that are non-minority principals react to us better than minority principals. We have some schools that are out there that are just ridiculous. Some of these principals we have who are, who are principals of color who's not supportive of this movement. They question your movement. We go to other schools where they are with different ethnic principals. They're, they're, listen, I want this in my school. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, the, the, that's the that's whole Willie Lynch mentality mm -hmm. where, you know, we sometimes, young men of, co uh, men of color, we tend to stereotype each other and don't understand the good of what we do. What we do is because we've been through a system where we've been oppressed and we figured a way that the only way we can continue to impact young men's life is to use an anti-deficit approach and tell what's good about them. So I don't come on, I don't, I don't show up and have this institute just because we want to, you know, um, pontificate. Mm -hmm. It's about helping young men to change their life. Mm -hmm. Brown, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and as Dr. Wright spoke about, when we go into these schools, our sole purpose is to go in there and to connect with these young men. And what happens a lot of times is every school sees it and they love it and they say we want it. But then all the times when we have discussions about what it takes to actually run it for a year, you get excuses. And Darren, what I found is that the crime scene of every dead dream, the easiest evidence to find is an excuse. And we're not about excuses, we're about solutions. So what we want to do is work with the school system to find solutions and not just talk about we don't have the resources or whatever it is, because we've done this for over eight years. And when, whether we had money or not, we figured out a way to get it done. So if you are serious about it, we're willing to work with you and to figure out a way to make this happen because our young men's lives are on the line. Well, certainly we want people to come on and take part in this and find out more about it. Once again, give them the information if they want to get connected with you guys. Again, they could go to aimhighei.eventbrite.com if they want to register. But to learn more about the Aim High Empowerment Institute, you go to www.aimhighei.org. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Thank we you. appreciate you guys coming. And best wishes. 750 men from high schools, young men from high schools from across the city taking part in the AIM High Empowerment Institute. Of course, we dropped the information at the bottom of the screen so you can find out more about them. Be sure to do that as uh, they look to take young men to a higher level. Listen, got to take a quick break. Going to have more show coming up right after this.